guys it's scarlet at build across and today i'm going to show you how i paint this paint by line elephant plaque i'm going to go in first and just begin to base coat my elephant and i'll be using a number 12 flat and the color savannah mist um, and you can buy the cutout that i'm painting on the brushes that i'm using and the paint all on buildacross.com this is dixie bell chalk paint it's my very favorite can't recommend it enough i'm going in now with probably my favorite color and it's sea glass and i'm painting my background and the brush i'm using for this is a one and a half inch flat and i do buy that at walmart it's a full cart brush and a pack of two and that's the only brushes that i buy outside of the pack that's on the website um, it just helps when I'm base coating a larger piece. And so next I'm going to go in and begin to paint my flowers. And I'm going to use soft pink. And then I'm going to blend a little bit of peony into that. And then I'm going to do the same thing but reverse on the next flower. So I'll base coat it in peony and then blend a little bit of soft pink. So it'll make a little bit of a darker flower. Following that, I'm going to paint my um, leaves, and probably my most used and very favorite green is Limeade, and so that's what I'll be using here. It's a really bright, happy spring green, and I love using it on greenery. And then once I'm done with the Limeade, I'll be done base coating my product. So then I'm going to go in with my heat gun and just begin to dry everything. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, just allow everything to dry plenty of time before going in and doing the outlining. So far, I really love this heat gun. It has definitely sped up the process. Um, it's really easy to use. Be careful because the tip does get hot. And um, it's a Tecpo, T-E-C-C-P-O. You can buy it on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. And now I'm just distressing some cotton over my shiplap part of my... Um, black a lot of times i'll go in and kind of outline distress with a darker color but i wasn't really feeling that for this so i chose white you could leave it blank as well if you wanted to and now i'm going in and beginning to outline everything so i'm using my sharpie brush stroke marker and i'm also going to use that marker to do the lettering um, and just make sure everything's dry for both of these the marker um, will not work on wet paint and then i'll highlight everything on my elephant and i'll be done so that's really um it is very simple again i want to let you guys know i use dixie bell chalk paint um and the brushes and the cutout all available on buildacross.com i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day